Hello, this is Clayton Hicks. I'm the CEO and founder of H7 Network, and um, I've got uh, Jim Diebold on with me, and uh, uh, this is our promo video for our upcoming Coach's Corner this Friday at 1 o'clock uh, featuring Jim. Um, and so we need to know a little bit about Jim. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Jim. What, 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 tell us a little bit about yourself. Clayton, I appreciate it. So uh, for me, I'm, I'm one of the guys that spent 15 plus years in corporate America in sales leadership roles. And what's funny about that, what I do now is I realize I've basically coached my entire career, but corporate America doesn't like to use the word coach, right? They like to say that we were leaders. So I was yeah. a sales leader for 15 years. Yeah. And then I had the opportunity to become a small business owner doing what I did in corporate America, which is a normal, natural transition for so many people that you gravitate to, hey, I can do this. So you step out, get out of the corporate, corporate grind, so to speak, uh, and start your own business. So I did that for about five years. And uh, for various reasons, decided to change directions again and did some consulting for a couple years. And my wife likes to say it was my midlife crisis period, although I didn't go and buy a Ferrari or anything like that, but yeah. trying to figure out what I was going to do with myself and started to realize that I had gained a lot of very useful skills and uh, knowledge around both communication and sales. And there were a lot of people that were struggling. They're fearful. It's almost like when you're in grade school, what do you hate the most? Math. Well, when you're an adult and have to go do something, what do you hate the most? Sell. Yeah. So I was like, hey, I, I could be your sales tutor, so to speak. Yeah. So uh, I've been a coach for a number of months now in age seven as well. And I've been loving every minute. Awesome. So in order to get into Coach's Corner, you have to be vetted and you have to be certified right? That's the deal. So uh, you are that. And um, so, okay, so what would your expertise, in your opinion, what's your expertise? Because it sounds to me like sales. Very, very perceptive of you, Clayton, since yeah. I mentioned sales skills as the top <laughs> of the list. But yes, <laughs> and I will tell you that uh, I don't know if it's laws of attraction. I honestly, we were talking about this earlier. I didn't specifically say, hey, I can help you with sales. Uh, but half of my clients have hired me to develop sales processes or do sales training for their organizations. That's exciting. And then it turns into bigger coaching opportunities because they realize as we talk through sales, they have other challenges in the organization that need some tweaking as well. But yeah. by far and above, my background lends itself to being a great sales coach yeah so we all could <laughs> during this time we could all use a little bit more sales right now uh, I'd say so. <laughs> so on the coach's corner this week um i called it uh turn prospects into buyers and so in about you know because we don't you know we want everybody to come to well you know the coach's corner to see this live coaching um can you sum it up in less than a minute maybe uh Absolutely. About it. Yeah, absolutely. So there are a lot of very common mistakes that people make in sales. And it's, and honestly, I say it's a mistake, but it's because they don't know any better. And I'm going to say that there's a staggering statistic over 90% of people in sales have never gone through sales training, any kind of formal sales training. Sure. They, the boss decided they had a good personality. They understood the product. Well, they throw them out into the marketplace and have at it. Well, guess what? When you do that for corporate America and you say, hey, this is easy. Let's go ahead and start a business to do that. Well, what do you, well, now what's your problem? Well, you're good at sales or so you think you are and you miss all the other stuff too because you're too busy working in, in your business. Well, what I want to focus on are what are the emotional triggers? Why do people buy? Do they look at consumer reports? Sure. But at the end of the day, they're buying from you. They have to have a connection to you. And what we're going to learn is that there's a great phrase in sales. It's called facts tell and stories sell. So we're going to work on the emotional triggers behind selling. We're going to demystify selling. By the time I'm finished, you're going to love sales. You're not going to hate it anymore. That's awesome. Uh, real quick, I don't think that's the, I think there's another piece of that saying, right? I mean, we're not going to say it, but there is, right? There instead of one the one you said there's another one um i don't know 
Maybe okay. I'm missing it. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, maybe on uh, Coach's Score on Friday, we'll talk about it. At 1 o'clock. All right. So thank you, Jim, for being on. Uh, My for, pleasure. For Thanks the for video. having me. Yep. And uh, we'll see you guys uh, Friday at 1 o'clock. Um, and uh, feel free to bring a friend. Hey, maybe bring uh, staff. Hey, br bring whatever it takes. Uh, right now, we need to all increase our sales. I'm sure of it. Bring so, your sales team. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank see you, Jim. You.